Good morning, friends. Welcome to this session. Here we are going to discuss about pattern multiplication. It is useful for the students who are studying antenna and wave propagation. So, what is this principle? What is the meaning of pattern multiplication? The pattern multiplication principle states that the radiation pattern or the resultant radiation pattern of an array of n identical sources is the product of individual antenna pattern and array pattern of n isotropic point sources. Those n element elements are fed with same phase signal and also equispaced. Okay, that is the one condition. And this n may be any number, maybe 2 point, 4 point, 8 point, 16 point, so on as the array is there. So what is the advantage of this method? The advantage of pattern multiplication is we can easily and quickly draw the resultant pattern of an array by this method. Okay. What we are doing here? We are multiplying individual pattern of an antenna and array pattern. Okay. That is the technique here. Okay. Let us see how we can proceed this for two point four point eight point like that okay here i am considering the two point sources that is a two point array as i am showing here two dipoles are separated by lambda by two and these dipoles are equi spaced as well as a same phase phi the signal which is having the same phase that is fed to these two elements it is a two element array here first we should know how to get the effective radiation pattern from the far field so here that's why I am telling I am not doing the pattern multiplication here. Here I am estimating the radiation pattern, effective radiation pattern or resultant radiation pattern of two element array. We know, we know the total electric field of two element array that is total electric field ET is equal to magnitude of the electric field cos beta D cos phi plus alpha divided by 2. This we have already derived from the previous class, right? Here we are applying different cases by considering distance d as lambda by 2, lambda, 2 lambda, like that. Based on that, what is the resultant radiation pattern that we have to estimate? Let us consider first d is equal to lambda by 2. And we know that beta is equal to phase that is also 2 pi by lambda. And also the alpha we are considering as 0. For this case, what is your total electric field? That is, ET is equal to EM cos beta means 2 pi by lambda into D means lambda by 2 cos pi alpha is 0. Then this is divided by 2, right? So what will happen now? This 2, 2 gets cancelled, lambda, lambda gets cancelled. Then what is your remaining term? That is EM cos pi by 2 cos pi. That this is the equation, right? So here to find the electric field or to plot the radiation pattern from this equation, we need to find the when the EM is maximum and when the EM is minimum. So for that case, what we have to do? Let us do, let us find the maxima for this. That is cos 5 by 2 cos 5 is equal to 1 or plus or minus 1. Then 5 by 2 cos 5 is equal to cos inverse of plus or minus 1. So that is totally what we are getting n phi, right? That is pi by 2 cos 
phi is equal to n phi plus or minus. So again that is phi cos phi is equal to 2 n phi plus or minus. So phi phi gets cancelled then cos phi is equal to 2n. You can substitute n as 0, 1, 2 like that but here cos value is not more than 1 that is less than 1. Okay, That's why we, are, we may substitute 0 or 1. So let us consider n as 0 that is cos phi is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0 cos phi is 0 phi is equal to cos inverse of 0 that is maybe 90 degree or 270 degree so like that maxima is at 90 degree and 270 degree okay now we have to find the minima position to plot the radiation pattern to find minima minima positions what we have to do consider that equation that is cos pi by 2 cos pi is equal to 0 so pi by 2 cos pi is equal to cos inverse 0 so generalized solution for this is 2n plus 1 that is plus or minus pi by 2 so here again pi by 2 cos pi right so cancel this pi by 2 pi by 2 what is your cos pi cos pi is equal to plus or minus 2n plus 1 right so this is the equation then this n may be 0 1 2 like that so let us put n equal to 0 then what happens cos pi is equal to plus or minus 0 plus 1 that is plus or minus 1 cos pi is equal to then pi is equal to cos inverse of plus or minus 1 cos inverse 1 is what 0 degree if cos inverse of minus 1 is 180 degree so like that we are getting minima positions at 0 degree and 180 degree that is minima we are getting and maximas we are getting at pi is equal to 90 degree and 270 degree so from this you can plot the radiation pattern of two point that is a resultant pattern of two point array now we are drawing the radiation pattern let us consider this that is 0 degree 90 degree and this is 180 degree and this is 270 degree what we got from the maxima calculation what we got at plus 90 and 270 we are getting maxima positions so I can represent like this right and minima set 0 degree and 180 degree that's why this is the assume that there is a source 2 and source 1 which are separated by lambda by 2 distance the resultant radiation pattern is like a figure of 8 so this is the way you can calculate the uh, radiation pattern of two point sources which are separated by lambda by 2 right and this we can continue again for four point sources